Yo, know, I don't know why I ordered three meals. I tried to be like some kind of food blogger, but it's not gonna cut it. That makes me ordering a lot of food that I'm just like, I can't even finish. So I've been reading about Belarusian cuisine and where restaurants in Minsk we can get them. And this is one of them. This is the Talaka restaurant. You know, eat here for lunch and hopefully that's gonna be some great food. This is a pretty cool decor so far. They have a lot of Belarusian traditional decor. Look at the menu. Holy crap. Oh, yum. For the main course. Draniki, yes? Yeah, I want yes. draniki, yep. Meat, this is uh, sauce. Must oh, okay. get them. Thank you. You're welcome. I sir. just ordered my food. I asked the lady what would be good from this restaurant, and she recommended me a mushroom soup with the bread and draniki, the Belarusian cuisine that I have to try. And lastly is the deer meat with sauce. So she said I had to try this bread and it looks like really cool. There is some mushroom soup, some kind of barley and potatoes and sour cream and parsley. At least the mushrooms are really, really yummy. So I'm about to try the famous Belarusian draniki, basically a potato pancake served and fried and sour cream berries and parsley as a garnish. So you give it a try. My favorite part about this Johnny dish is the crispy edges. I'm about to taste one of these berries. Tastes like oh sour. I'm going to try the deer meat. I guess the word is creamy. You get the flavor from creamy mushroom kind of type of sauce. It's garnished with onions. Actually, pretty good. I asked for the check, and this is what got delivered. Ooh. That was a very interesting uh, lunch experience. Uh, two gentlemen who were chugging down vodkas and the more they stayed in the more vodka they drank and the more obnoxious they became so one gentleman insisted that i had to be from china and when i said i was not from china he knew better than i'm from china so i was like fine you know i'm from china let's leave me alone and the second gentleman said so you know where are you actually from atlanta and so it's like okay so you're american and you have to sit down with me i was in the middle of my meal and he was basically came down from his table reached over and tried to physically drag me in. no i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good thank you <laughs> that's good thank you. then i would start watching these two gentlemen and one of them started to start you know groping uh, our waitress fortunately um, nothing happened and I had to leave so yep keep going until I reach the part of the town where the walking tour starts It's kind of a donut, but it's uh, like local donut. Local donut, okay. <laughs> very dry, but it's supposed to be very dry. Historical heritage is not so...
kakayo tabi eh. Yakahayu tabi. Yakahayu tabi. Yeah. Right, right. Just concluded our walking tour. Uh, that's a great walking tour. Just learned so much thing about Minsk, about Belarus, and about particular uh, quirks of the city. But tonight, I have to head out to see uh, one of my couch server. Natalia and we are in Pasioki yeah. restaurant. <laughs> okay, and this is a great local place where you can get a lot of uh, traditional food from Belarus. And this is the menu that we have. Just a lot of different options and mostly our local foods and drinks. We just ordered a sampler which actually has three different kinds of drinks. Crumb bambuya. Crumb bambuya. <laughs> And then the red one is cranberry, and then the third one, grandfather's treat. So it's a ginger drink. Cheers. What is it again? That's the rubia. Or cheers. Or cheers. Yeah, of course. So it's honey and spices. It's actually uh, very interesting. Cambodia is way too strong. Yeah, it's like for it's men. For it's men? A, yeah, it's like it's for ladies. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the cranberry? cranberry the yes. pink one. Let's try the pink one. Alright, cheers. cheers. <laughs> it's not so, it seems not so alcoholic, but it's like There's cranberry in it, and it doesn't taste like completely soaked in alcohol. So it seems like I'm gonna order the uh, assorts of dumplings. It's gonna be just a wet. You know, like with the broth dumplings. It's gonna be pork and chicken and beef, uh, mushrooms and potatoes. So the pancakes with traditional thick gravy. Machanka. Machanka? And then machanka. I'm gonna show you what we have. Dumpling plate that we were ordering, just a lot of assorted different types of dumplings. A simple dumplings, but but it's a very different kind than you know like the Chinese or Vietnamese dumplings. Let's try it. Like sauce, this, like sauce with meat, with something else, so cream is... Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's beef, <laughs> but it looks like mushrooms. Oh, that is a mushroom kind, because yeah, I had the other half. We just had... We just had the mushroom kind. The uh, the skin are a bit drier. Maybe it's just something that I'm not used to. It. <laughs> it's potato. Potato dumpling. I have a lot of dishes with potato. <laughs> Try the machanka. This is a very Belarusian sauce. So with so cream, mushrooms, and so it looks good. It smells definitely really really good. And we're about to have a bite. So guys, maybe, maybe I'm not right. <laughs> this is the uh, the proper way to eat machanka. I... I think that is my this properly. Oh, okay. So you put you put the chunks on top of it. Yeah, I think so. Ah. Mm. It's good. It's good. In the sauce, there's meat and mushroom and a creamy, some kind of really yummy sauce. So this is probably one of. Uh, my favorite dish so far in Belarus. I had three different dishes this morning, and then you get the dumplings, which is which is also good. And then the manchanka is oh my god, you gotta try it. But we are actually going to try our last shots of the night. The grandfather's treat: honey, lemon, and ginger. And this is also hopefully will be a good shot because as good as the cranberry one. Uh. Cheers? I think it will be strong, yes. Cheers. Strong? Okay. <laughs> Ooh. You could taste the vodka in it. You can definitely taste the ginger part of it in the vodka. I like it. I think in bad ways it's okay. 
like very good for bad weather. This is good for your sore throat. <laughs> like, so Definitely. It's like advice. <laughs> Natalia was a really good uh, person to hang out with. I uh, learned so much about Belarusian culture in Minsk and also tasting a lot of great food. It is freezing out here now. I'm trying to go back to my hotel now. Alright y'all, I'm probably freezing my ass out here but it is so beautiful. At night it just glows in the dark. It's snowing guys. This is at the Victory Victorian This is at the Victory State Square This is at the Victory Square